Let's start with the first question because this one caught my eye. There's been some conversation about James Wiseman recently. I doubt you've seen a single Pistons game all year, but is there anything you got on him for this? Also, who would you rather have, Trace Jackson Davis or Big Jim James Wiseman? <clears throat> I was like, nah, um, look, man, before, before I even say anything, I, the, the thing that I hated about the Wiseman discord when he was a warrior was it became more about picking a side than actually what we were seeing in a kid struggling to, to find his way in the NBA, right? It was like the, the line in the sands were drawn and it was like, it was more about being right than what was actually happening on the court, I think, in a lot of the, the discord with it. But <clears throat> I'm glad that we've moved on from it, kind of. Um, the beginning of the Pistons season, I was watching them because, I one, I was curious about, about Wiseman and Cade. I, I like Cade, Jaden Ivey, Monty Williams. It was an interesting storyline to start the season up until they went into that slump. And I was like, all right, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. But I wa watched the first 10 or 15 games. They had a competitive one. I remember opening night against Orlando. It was like an early, it might've been the first game of the season outside of you know the Halloween opener, or not Halloween opener, but Warriors Suns. <clears throat> here, let me clear my throat here for a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. What I have seen, I took a look at the Boston highlights from the other night. And again, I've saw a handful of games from Wise early in the season. He fell in and out of the rotation. Monty's done a lot of weird things. He hasn't helped himself. He hasn't helped that roster. The Ivy benching was strange. Then they wave Killy. Is Killian Hayes back in France? Like, I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. But um, what has stuck out to me looking at Wiseman now is he's making much quicker decisions, right? So that's huge, obviously. That, that was like a big problem. And he's no longer loading up and trying to elevate. You remember he used to try to load his jumps and show everybody I'm 7-1, I have hops, let me let me get to my summit, let me get to the peak, the apex. And when you combine that with him not processing quickly, right, and not seeing the game on time, it made it even worse. It was like, first off, you're a step slow, now you're loading up like you're going to squat to try to dunk everything, and it, and it was a disaster. You're seeing him hop, right? When you're that size... You don't need to jump. You could just hop. And what it has done is it's unlocked the touch that we were all intrigued about when we first saw James Wiseman, right? So he has that touch now, he's flashing, and he's making himself more available on the roll. That was another kind of pet peeve of watching James Wiseman for me was <clears throat> like, oh, dude, you, you, you don't make yourself available. I know it was a thing like no one passes to him on the roll, right? And like, a, but if you pay attention, like when he's running the floor, or when he's rolling, he didn't. He, he there's there's a nuance to it, a pocket, creating a pocket, something Trace does very well, and some guys just do very well. DeAndre Jordan comes to mind, even though not the highest IQ player, he had that feel for creating a pocket and making himself available. And so I think he's doing those two things better. Seeing him now, and, and is it year three for him? No, it's year three for Kaminga. This is year four for Wise. Hope I don't see him at summer league again. Nah, um, he he may need it. He may need it. And so what I'll say about Wiseman is, it, I think it's coming along offensively. That said, I don't think he's ever going to have the feel or the instincts, the timing defensively to stay on the floor for important minutes. So what I see for Wiseman carving out a role moving forward would be kind of like an Ennis Cantor type of role. Now, obviously, Ennis, <clears throat> he'll never be the rebound Cantor was. I guess he's not in the league anymore, right? But an offensive-minded big man who can play, you know, off your bench, 20 minutes a night, and you know he can give you 10 points or 12 points, right? An offensive-minded guy, but defensively, I don't think that that's ever going to get there, especially in the way the game's being played right now. So the thing is, when you say Wiseman or Trace, and, and I may be getting trolled here with this, right? But it, it's a fun topic. Um, Trace has everything that Wiseman doesn't have, right? And it's all the things you can't teach. Timing, hands, motor. Those are the top three that I would list, right? Trace just, if you watch, watch him here in an hour, 
he you, you, sometimes when you and I have the advantage of watching tape and doing my breakdowns, but some guys like Wiggins is the best example. And when I say this, you'll say it's true. It, you'll you'll know it to be true. He has like these blips in play where he like freezes for a second. It's like he's just not there for a second. Like especially when when the ball is going from offense to defense, like transition situations, like there's a stop, there's a turn, whatever, right? Like there's like a, oh, there's there's just a beat where they have to like switch to what they're going to do, right? Trace naturally the just end to end. He's just in constant movement. And that's what you want from a modern big man. So hell no, nah, I wouldn't take wise over Trace. But again, I think they already knew the answer to that when they asked me. Um, but hey, I think if, if he keeps working, he can stick. Um, based off his offensive prowess in in like a designated role, a designated big score, right? In pick and rolls. The people that were against Wiseman being part of the Warriors, right? And be and thought he wasn't a good player or he wasn't gonna be good enough in time, it almost came off because I was one of them, where it was like we were hating on Wiseman. I wasn't, it just became such an argument that it came off that way at times. But he seems like a great kid. I think. The fact that he is such a great kid is going to buy him more time to figure it out moving forward. But Trace, it, nah, you, I'll take Trace every day of the week because of the because of the unteachable skills that he possesses.